Oi oi! My name is the Cheeky Thief and we are going to be April Ryan in The Longest Journey. What, what's it all about? It's about mystery, puzzle solving. This is part two and part two is going to be beginning with talking to her best friend, Emma. Alright April Ryans, let's go and do this. Alright, let's talk to Emma. Come on. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roy and Dale release Sidetracked? Oh, 04, right after the Morning Star exile, those sons of bitches. With blood on their boots, yeah. <laughs> Told you so, Marcus. You said 03. I was closer than you, 07, and you call yourself a fan. I don't. Did you speak with Zach today? <laughs> Why? He's a tense character. He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. He what? You gotta be kidding me. I wasn't even that rude to him. He thinks so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Oh, God. I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do I? Who cares? It's that. Zach. He hates you, so what? No great loss. That's true. So, what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? Actually, I came by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than us? I have to find out what the message means. Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie. He spoke with Cortez earlier. What should we do? What What are you doing? Mind if I ask you some questions, Emma? No, because that just goes What are you forever. doing? Staying here. What else? I'm meeting a friend later, but that's not until nine. We're waiting for Isabel, and then we're going to eat. But I guess you're not hungry. No. Uh -uh. No. Figures. I don't know why I even bother asking. Who's this friend you're meeting later? Don't tell me it's that guy you were out with last night. Are you going to tell me I shouldn't get involved with men like him? No, no, of course not. I'm not your... <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that, Emma. Well, I wish you would, because you're right. I shouldn't, he's a bastard. But he's so cute and charming and, you know, very good in bed. I, I just can't help myself. But he's not a keeper, don't worry about that. It's just this thing, just a fling. Well, that's all right then. So... Mind if I ask you some questions, Emma? Oh, I gotta run. I We're gonna get run. going. We've chatted to her See for main things. Stranger. That thing there is really just extra talking to people, uh, just learning a bit more. Not necessary to get That's the game my... going. Well, Emma's friend, really, Marcus. He's a Vava student as well. An artist, eh? And as an artist, I know we can be very stuck up. Any, anywho, I think we've done everything in here that we, we came to do. We've, we've got paid. We've spoken to that guy. We've stolen some sweets. We've got some free tickets um, to an art show about crazy artwork. Dream related. Okay, so... Um, what else should we do? We're, we've not been to the subway yet. Let's go to the subway. So yeah, we're going to run through here again. Still, Robocop is still arresting kids for skateboarding. Um, his career has come off the rails since the films. But uh, we won't hold it against him. You've got to get paid, so you've got to do whatever it takes. Okay. To East Venice. Oh no, we are East Venice, are we? She's just standing there. Okay. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have to get scared. Jumping gates in the Newport subway is a corporate offense liable to get me five years behind bars. If mm. I'm lucky. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Five years behind bars. Easy. If you're lucky. Cool. Uh, what is this? It's a gene scanner. It, um, scans your genes, puts your genetic signature into a database, and allows you through all corresponding gates. Oh, that's sci-fi. Love a bit of sci-fi. Alright, here we are. Um, 
gonna have a week. I'll get pass. a weekly pass, just in case. Oh. A little bit Blade Runner. Um, infantry. I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Let's see. According to the instructions, I push a button with a stylized hand. Wave my cash card in front of the round thingy, and then stand still for a few seconds. Good. I can stand still. Okay, alright. That's our cash card. Take that. In front of the thingy. I'm being scanned. Don't look at the scan dollars line. subtracted from cash card. You are now free to travel on all Metroline subways for exactly one week. And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. Have a nice day. That's not creepy, is it? Keep your genes clean. Otherwise, I have to eradicate you. Alright, let's exit. Come on, we're good enough. What's this? Sparks. There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. It looks like a large iron key. Large iron key. Have the key. Actually, is that safe? I'd have to get down there to reach it with my hands, but with that frayed high voltage cable. I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could be fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to Okay. Whatever. Let's get on the train. You too. I'm not getting on the train until I know exactly where I'm going. Okay. Alright. I think we're supposed to be here. Uh, the iron key. I don't know how that gets me on a train. Um, doesn't know where I'm going to go, so what if I look at the it's ticket? It's the address. The gallery's located near the Watertown Bridge. It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. Okay, cool. It's a compliment. Yeah, I know, I know. All right. All right then, April. Well, trains are regular. Positive. Come on now, let's get on there. We know where we're going. It's gotta work this time. It does work this time. Yes. Puzzle solving in the future. Okay, where are we now? Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. It's rad. Surge. He's so stiff. <laughs> He's reading a real good article. Would you reckon that that picture on there is probably one of the game developers? I hope it is. The screen really is ubiquitous. There is no escape anywhere. So what's going on the screen? You've got like uh, desert buggies, dune buggies. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, we are we're already at e East Venice, so we're going to go to the Watertown Bridge. How are we doing? Poor guys drugged out on Amethyst. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. <laughs> He's so off his face, he can't even play the bongo. <laughs> Can I nick his change? No. Okay. Yeah, alright. Go on, then. In we go. Hello, sir. Sir? Hello? I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. I don't think we should. Mind you, why not? I, what am I going to do with a piece of paper? Slow day, I guess. What's this? It's a pointy-edged swan. Good. What's that? It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very I like him already. Inspiring. I'm a short, nude creature with a snout. Alright. 
Look at this. Ah, Cortez. About time you showed up. Mm -hmm. About time? I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. Look. Uh, why? why? Just look at it. He's listening in. Okay, look at the paint. What am I looking for? What do you see? What do we see? We see a guy hugging a girl. Oh yeah, it says it there. <laughs> um, are these like bars? I don't know. Um, I see a serious. statement on loss. The guy, he's hugging a girl. And by all rights, he should be happy. But he's hmm. not. He's probably already mourning the loss of her, even though that's still somewhere in his future. Statements? Who cares about a statements? Tell me what you see. Okay. I see an oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. That's all you see? But there's so much more. Look. Look. Look in. I see art. art. Art, yes. And beyond that. Beyond art. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for truth. 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 Exactly. A deeper truth. Artist. Oh, this yeah. painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression on you, and you're not quite sure why. It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Mm. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either, although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who've spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. And what is the truth of art? Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Excuse me? You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and illusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. <laughs> A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't How it? How does he know? How does he know that we're seeing creepy shit? All right. Um. Yeah. How the hell do you know these things? Yeah. It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here. And your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? 
I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. Afoot? My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art, and truth, and dreams, and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought, maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, señorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Meet me tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Not again. No way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions, yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? Ay, Dios mío. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I said... Goodbye. Look at him swagger out like a cowboy. He dealt with that well. Well, Cortez seems to know a lot about something we don't. Um, you can tell that the dream thing is starting to really wind her up and she's feeling very sensitive about it. You probably would if you start, your dreams start actually attacking you in the day. Um, <laughs> it, it's really, it's really cool that like, if, if we just stop for a minute and just look at how low the graphics are, how old the game is, and still it can capture you. It can still tell you a story. It can tell you everything in tiny little things and like these paintings all these little kind of suggestions that are clearly pointing to something because one of the things I find with this game is so well considered like you know look at this you know the longest journey is about two worlds um, which you can read from the basic description um, and so it's consistently showing you little reminders and it makes me wonder where does any of this come in where does this little creature come in with this spiky ear like a little goblin if we see a little goblin later on we know we're onto something that the symbols are all inside what's this spiky statue and this floating thing is it a person it's just confused and i just love that i love the details and the craziness of it all so out we go to the rhythmless drugged up hippies Okay. Can't go around there. No. So yeah, we are. It's it's a great experience, you know. And like, it's a long game. It's got a lot to tell. It's a, it's a big story. And some modern games, they just don't seem so fussed about telling you a real story. Whereas this one, it just, it really goes there. It really goes right. Well, I've got a big story, and I'm not cutting it. I'm not cutting the story down. I'm going to give you as much as possible so you can get involved. What's in that? It's a plaque commemorating the Venice Massacre of 2109. It reads, In honor of those who died defending our right to live. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, I don't know where to go now. Where should we go? Um, well, let's go back to the, uh, the crossroads where the clock is. We haven't been to the house, so we're going to try the house for a bit, see if anything's changed. No, no, wait, wait a minute. Let's go to the, uh, actually let's go to the cafe. Because I want to, I want to see, like, aren't we supposed to meet people? Okay, there we go. 
but I love this. And do you know what I love about point and click adventures? As they cl classically, as the story progresses, you get closer and closer to like um, like you get closer and closer to different uh, different zones, different places. So like you feel like you've seen this place a hundred times, and all of a sudden, there's a whole new places to go. Um. am I supposed to? Oh look, I'll have that. Bread basket. Is it? I've missed something. Coming back. Brilliant. Okay, so let's, let's talk to Emma. Am I supposed to meet somebody? Howdy. See if you just What's got up? basic talky. Not much. Yep, just basic talk. So See you later. No special conversation. Bye. Okay. I like my outfit. It's inexpensive. Good. I thought I missed something from here. I thought I did. Don't need to talk to him. Oh, it's been, it's like over a decade, so it's hard to remember what you have to do. Hang on, let's click on the infantry. It's a loaf of freshly baked bread from the cafe. Okay. It's a clamp. It's a clamp. Well, that's a clamp. <laughs> um, what's this about? Um. It's a sticky, half-eaten piece of candy. Oh yeah, because we spat that out, didn't we? Because we didn't like the flavour of it. Okay, let's go home. I can't remember. Wasn't it? There was a window. We had to do something with the window. We've got a load of items now, so maybe we can do something with the window scene in her bedroom. I know we've got to do something there, I just don't know what it is. I remember like when I first played this, I was reluctant to use a guide, and I was reluctant to... Um, yeah, because I viewed it as cheap. Look at that monster. Look at that. Look at that. I just love that sort of stuff. I love this mural. Another motif is a little trite. I mean, fairy tale forests and magical dragons? Still, oh. it's pretty. I wonder what happened to the artist. Probably making a bundle from cheesy fantasy calendars and book covers. So, again, like, another reference to another world, and I love that. Like, that's how, like, um, you f I find with Funcom games, because Funcom are really great at storytelling, um, and I love the way they drop consistent um, hints subtle and unsubtle of how the story all interlinks with everything you know you probably find the number four here is relevant somewhere what's all alarm i did that whoops was that me the cheeky jackal set the alarm off again back into the thiefing Okay. Oh, there's two people there. We're going to come back. Let me check the room. Let me check the room. I'm sure there's something with the room. I'm sure there is. It's got to do with that window. Because we got as far as we could with it. Double click. Alright. Chain. It's a rubber ducky, helplessly trapped under that rusty old grill. It's a clothesline. It's a seagull. Poor guy looks quite hungry. Hang on. Hang on. I bet somebody's prom somebody out there is screaming at me right now. Whenever they're watching this video going, Give it the bread. Give it the bread. No. Not give it the bread. Give the rubber ducky the bread? <laughs> okay. Well, that landed well. Okay. <laughs> Classic point and click. Oh, my word. Oh. What does that mean? Clank, yeah. Chain, I still touch that. Ah, 
We've got the clothesline. What would we do with the clothesline? Oh, no, sorry. It's a plastic coated clothesline. Wait a minute. I've got to get the ducky. I know I need the ducky. But I don't know why. I know I need that ducky. I know I do. Ducky! Duck? Bon voyage, ducky! Uh, that way? It's the only other way I can think that's that way. After ten years, sharp as a rock. There we go. If you smell what the cheeky thief is cooking. Yeah. Okay. Ha! <laughs> yes. Okay, so I've got the ducky. I've got the ducky. What do we do with the ducky? Pixelated. Band-aid. Okay, we'll have that. The duck's deflated. Tube. Load the duck up. Okay. But, okay. But taking it off. Um. <laughs> okay, I didn't get far with that one. Um, I'm not sure what to do with that. Okay. Rope it together. Oh, that goes. Oh, that goes. Uh, can we... No. I am not sure what to do with that. Okay. Oh. My ears are tingling. I know there's something in it. I know there's something in it. Alright, come on April, let's do this. You and me April, let's get to the house. Maybe there's something else there I've missed. I missed I missed something at the cafe, so there may be something at the house I've missed. Anything here? Okay. Anything I can do to the alarm? that pin. No. No, okay. I'm not sure why. Does it blend with anything? No. Okay, okay, I'm just I'm just being crazy now. Okay. Can I burn anything with matches? No, that's crazy talk. Alright, let's go in there. There was another person here. Have you been sitting here all day? Pretty much, darling. I feel like a vegetable. How was your day then? Uh, it's, it's been a weird, a weird day. day. Mm. How so? 
Well, you know how some mornings you wake up, but you're not sure if you're really awake or if you're still just dreaming? I feel like that every morning, darling. A pot of black coffee cures that in a flash. That's how I've been feeling all day. Like I said, it's been a weird day. How was yours? Exceedingly ordinary. Almost depressingly so. I poked my head out of the door once for about a second, but thought better of it. So she's been sitting down all day, basically. I said, what are you watching? What are you watching? Nothing special. We were thinking about watching a movie later, though. Yeah, which one? They have quite a few new releases out. Did you ever see Victory Hotel? No. Is it good? That's what they say. So we might catch that one. Okay. Well, they're the basic questions. I'll see you later, so yeah? I'll leave that. All right, darling. So we haven't talked to this person, so we're going to talk to Mickey. Uh, this must be Fiona's What's going on, partner, Mickey? I think. Well, the water's been yeah. fixed, so yes. you can take a hot shower if you want. Uh, right. Great. I'll take a quick one before bedtime. Mind you don't let everyone else go before you, because in that case I can't guarantee that you'll... The water gets cold. You know? You know. Thanks, Mickey. Yeah. What was wrong with the pipes? They're just old. Like all of Venice. They're really old. Twice a year, every year, I have to spend a half a day freezing my ass off down in the canal performing emergency surgery on the pipes. Not that I don't love doing it, especially when my so-called partner's curled up on the sofa watching soaps all day long. Tension. I'll talk to you later, Mickey. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and watch a movie with us, April? You know what? That sounds like an excellent idea. Doesn't adjust. Oh! Cool. Bathtub shaped popcorn dispenser. That picture on the wall, that face, that's a great picture. Ooh. What the? Chapter 2! Through the looking glass, no reference to Alice in Wonderland. I've got to find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. Okay, cool. Alright. Chapter 2, we're doing it. Okay, um, oh no, we, I, I faffed around with that. I've got to find Cortez. Didn't the others see this? I'm going to talk to Fiona. Surely they saw it, because they, they were standing up, weren't they? Um, with that strange event. Well, she's moved. Did your tongue stick to the window pane again, Fiona? <laughs> Please tell me last night was a dream, April. So she did see it. It wasn't a dream. Mm -hmm. I know it wasn't. And since both you and Mickey, since the both of you saw what I saw, it can't have been a hallucination either. Oh, that's weird. Weird things have been happening lately. I have noticed. This isn't the first time. What? What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. And noises, the kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. 
animal noises. Wild animals. And once, this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. As I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Scary. You're telling me, darling. I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? Well, okay. I wish she shared that with us when we were discussing our worries about dreams. Right, um... Have you seen Cortez today? Have you today? seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Who'd know? Perhaps Zack. He is, after all, the self-appointed film expert around here. You should talk to him, darling. Great. Zack. My very best friend in the whole wide world. Yeah. Could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? He calls me babe. Certainly, darling. If I happen to see him. Thanks. Okay. I so. have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Oh, hang on. I missed the talking. Hi. Sorry. No. Yes? Any idea where Cortez might be? Like I told you, darling, I wouldn't know. Ask right. Zack. Just covering that. All right. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. These games sneak up on you with mysterious, apparently irrelevant things. Are in is the whole story is based on it. Right, we're gonna go and click on Zack's apartment door. I think he he'll still be there. I never imagined I'd be doing this in a million years. Hey, babe. Well, well, what do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. I really don't like it. Let's, we need something from him, don't we? So we're going to be nice to him. We're going to yes, get what we want. I finally realized what I was missing out on. Yeah. About time, too. So, you uh, ready to hang out? Because he's sexy. Just do me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? Yeah. Good. Tonight. Uh, sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... Pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out... the cinema, I think it's... What? <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just gotta know if it'll be worth it or not. Pills. You on? We'll see, Zach. Yeah, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. And that wouldn't make me very happy. Already does. I'll be a good girl and show. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? You know where I can find Cortez. Cortez, yeah? I knew there was something going on between you guys. Don't be ridiculous, Zack. It's not what you think. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit? You're with me tonight, and by tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. So, where is Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does, he's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector, like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where is this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. It's close to the Radio Power Building, and there are tons of adult stores in the area. Actually, okay. if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zack, I don't think... Hey, whatever. I was just kidding, Cheats yeah? you don't like. Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? <laughs> he I'll was joking! I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip. And the info. Just be at the pavilion by ten, okay? I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. And it wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all. Well, our lovely Romeo 
has not only insulted us, but he's also threatened us and has made it very easy for me to not show up. So, that's good. That's a win. We done in the house? I think we're done, aren't we? Look, there's a new sheet up on the board. Oh, it's gone. Okie dokie, no worries. I thought, oh, Let's keep going. So he's at East Metro, didn't he? So I guess we're going to the um, subway. Going to the subway, yeah! Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I like it. It's starting to hot up now, isn't it? I don't know if you know, it's starting to be a little bit more... Um, yeah, here we are. A little bit more magical, isn't it? I like that. It's like it's crept the story in on us. Nice and easy, like. What's wrong with his face? I'm bothered about this too. I know it's not important, but I'm bothered about it. Now, Rubber glove, because then I don't get electrocuted. Okay. Can we pull it? Yes. Yes. When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house. I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. Mm. Obviously, this is not going to work. Clamp's already closed. Clamps already closed, okay. Um no, uh. It's a clamp. It's got a clothesline tied to it. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. Why? <laughs> sure enough. Okay. <laughs> Just, what does it? Why would I know that? That's a pretty cool catch. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just go to the train. That that's classic. That's classic old school point and click right there. Okay. Was it? It was the map, wasn't it, at the top that told us where to go. Okay. Is there anything in here we can pick up? No. All right. Oh yeah, there you are. New place. Whoa. Sex to see. Liquid dreams. Would you believe this is the first thing I saw when I came to Newport? Big city? Gotta love it. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Alright, April, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, April? Should we talk to these crazy people? Okay. Guess we're going that way, aren't we? The elevators. The guard there, I think. Robocop. Okay. It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself. Okay. It's a police officer. I'm gonna go in. Da -da -da. Hold it! You're Stop. not taking this elevator. But why? Uh. Why? Because you're not carrying proper identification. Didn't you know that's a corporate offense in Newport? In Venice, you don't have to. I see. 
Vince. I should have known. Should have known. Step back or I'll be forced to take you down <laughs> with so extreme hard. prejudice. <laughs> He's gonna shoot me for whatever reason. Okay, mate. Let's not let's not aggravate him. What's up with the cops oh, just... in this city? I'm sorry. I mean, when you arrest people, you read them their rights and then you sell them products. It's all part of the job, miss. The police department is a subdivision of the Bokemba Mercer Company and the Bingo Corporation. The Bingo Corporation. Doesn't that constitute a conflict of interest? Not if we don't arrest any employees of either company. That makes so not sense. Does <laughs> when you're faced with the prospect of getting the boot, miss. I have kids, and I'd like to see them through college. How okay. do I get permission to go through? Sure, mate. <laughs> Only citizens of mid-level status or above are allowed to use these elevators. I guess you're new to this city, or you know that. Uh, yeah, fresh from the countryside. You do look like a farm girl, it's true. That's hey, nice. watch it! Is that a bad thing? You look like a farm girl? How do you get mid-level status? Birth, money, marriage. Schmucks like you and me, miss. We're stuck here. Speak for yourself, schmuck. Thanks, officer. Right, you're all schmucks. And to inform you of the fantastic range of products offered by Bokemba Mercer and Bingo, manufacturers of the world's favorite soft drinks and handguns. Yes, synergy. Okay. Um, so that didn't work. Do, do we have anything we can? Find key. Don't need that. Not really sure what I'm going to do with any of that. Okay. Taxi. Well, I don't think there's anything else I can actually do here. So we're going to go back to the subway. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we'll do this. Should go back to the club, try that out. This guy's out here all day long, all year. He never stops painting. Because he's crazy, that's why. A crazy digital, crazy painter. Worst in the world. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> all these digital people, all changing positions each time you come through. All right, so the front's changed, so maybe something inside's changed. Hang on a minute. No. All right. Just, just a dream. Does he have anything new to say? I'm glad you're here. I need somebody to talk to. Yeah, me too. What's going on? Weird stuff has been happening to me. Doesn't it always? Mm -hmm. Not like this. I was convinced they were hallucinations, after effects of my dreams. But yesterday and last night? Last night? That's incredible. Me too. Don't interrupt. <laughs> I like that. What happened? What happened? You haven't heard anything about what happened to you last night? No, tell me. Around 11 last night, I was working the bar and, well, I couldn't see how it started, but the music suddenly changed and the place went dead quiet. I walked over to the far end of the bar. Something, it, it wasn't human, definitely not like any human I've ever seen just appeared out of the thin air where the jukebox is, playing an instrument. At first, it didn't seem to notice anyone. Everyone stood there watching it, dead silent. Then it looked up, and then it just yeah. disappeared. Everyone was staring at the jukebox, and then at each other. 
And then things just went back to normal. It was as if they all chose to block it out. It was scary, girl. I couldn't get the image of that creature out of my mind. And the look on its face, it was real, that's for sure. As real as you and me, but different. Now I want to hear your story, April. What happened? This is gonna be hard to believe, but it's true, I swear to you. Of course I'll believe you, girl. Last night, I came home, and Mickey and Fiona were watching the screen, so I joined them. We watched a documentary about the rainforest, and... and... What happened? The room turned into a jungle. Are you serious? No, I'm lying to you. Of course I'm sure. I was there. Fiona was there. Mickey. We all saw the same thing. A jungle. But only for a split second. Mm. Then it was gone. Just like that. And it wasn't like a hologram. It was more real than that. It smelled right. The air was thick and humid and... And it didn't feel synthetic like those shows they have. It felt real. The worst part was, it looked familiar. Like something from a... a dream. I recognized the place and I recognized the emotions I had being there. From where? Like I said, from dreams and from experiences I've had these past few days. Strange stuff, scary stuff, but I'd rather not talk about those experiences now. Okay. I understand. Wow. Heavy. It's amazing how similar our stories are. And it scares me because... Have you considered the possibility you've been drugged, Charlie? Or subjected to some holographic experiment? You prefer the Matrix. that to the alternatives? <laughs> that we're going crazy? Or that there's actually something... Something going on? Something we can't understand? You think those alternatives are better? I can't tell you, April. All I know is the experience was as real to me as yours was to you. Hmm. Gotta go find Cortez again. Is this going to be a daily ritual with you guys? I certainly hope not. Okay, let's go in the back of the bar. Shifty guy sitting there. It's a jukebox, according to Stan. It's okay. None of that. Okay, so there's nothing in else in here, but talking to him, that's that's moved it on. Okay. Crikey, so like, everybody is like starting to get these visions and these unusual things, and I guess they're just, I guess something's happening. Like uh, two, I think two realities are starting to merge, and to me that's very interesting. Hang on, I'm obsessed with this key, aren't I? No. From what I've been told, the clock stopped on the... Okay, we know that. Alright. I thought maybe the iron key would start the clock again and do something. Okay, running along, running along. She's still there. It's a large iron key. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna check that mystery door in a minute. Down by the by the cafeteria. I'm gonna try Charlie's place. Nobody home. Okay. Alright, let's let's go and try the um the mystery door. Got a large iron key. There's a door that's never been opened. There we go. And we're going to find out. This always happens in these games. Isn't it? You get to a point and you're like, hang on a minute, I'm running out of ideas of what I'm supposed to do. 
but we're going to try the mystery door. We're going to see what happens with that. I've got a large iron key. Of course it works. It's got to work. Alright. Anything with anything. Okay. Oh, this is a stumping moment to the park. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to the school. Need model to pose nude for serious work. P.S. Only looking for young and beautiful. It used to be chicks, then he crossed it out and wrote women. That's smooth, man. <laughs> it's an idea, but it's bad. So, um... Canvas. That's another one of Olaf's. I swear he does a painting in, like, a day. That's pretty damn good, too. Don't get jealous. <laughs> I am not sure what's happening here. Pick that up. Not today. Okay. Those sketchbooks belong to some of the other students who share the space. I'll just leave my brush and easel here before I go. Okay. Yep, oh, there we go. So yeah, we're running around, we're looking we're looking for solutions. That's Mary Sam, Vava's founding mother and pro Venice activist back before the riots. She was assassinated by a corporate hired gun right after the school opened some 90 years ago. Okay. So, yeah. It's not school. It's not at home. It's not at the bar. So, we're going to go back to the. We're going to go to the subway now. We're going to try the subway. I'm probably going to skip through quite a few. You know, cut a bit of this because this is getting ridiculous. So right, here we are, um, I've been searching around and then I didn't really pay attention to this arrow. You see this? East Gateway. So we're going to click on the East Gateway. How ridiculous have you running around the circles? But it's okay, because we found the, the, the Purple Light District. Um, do, 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 do. Hey you, do you uh... You wanna get some coupons? Oh, okay, yeah, let's go get some coupons. Right, over here? Yeah, I got lots of coupons. In this nightclub. Um, Popular place. Not my crowd, though. No, uh uh. No, we won't admit that while we're going live. Alright. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Oh, well, at least. Yeah, okay. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength. Raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. Literally. Those two walked off into the alleyway. They're obviously doing um, good things, I'm sure. Right, okay, so here we are. Got past that. Bo box office is closed. Box office. A Welsh ghost story. 
Written and directed by Ragnar Tornquist. I saw that. It's a classic. Ragnar. Sneaking your name in the game there. I love it. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno. But I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smart. Exactly. That's what she's going to tell her mother. No. Excuse me. Yes, huh? Yes, huh? Oh, jeez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up! What? <laughs> He's gonna hit it. Yeah, that'll Good. do it. Now stay that way, you hear? Okay, um... Is the theater open now? No. I reckon it ain't, lady. Okay. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. Do you know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. I ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh huh? But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you <laughs> you should just mind your own bees knees and get. Yeah, I get. told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't know Cortez. I I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So so I tell you what, I'd mighty appreciate it if if you'd stop bothering me mm. and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world is f wants to find Cortez today. Okay, then. We'll just we'll just leave it there for now. Do no, you do work that. at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddie. Freddie Mellon. My <laughs> mama, Mrs. Oh, Dottie no. Mellon, she owns the theater. The yep, theater? I reckon she does, uh-huh. She owns it. And she'd be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. Yep. And what okay. do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that. Uh huh. Thanks uh -huh. anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, so, I tell you what, you go on now, and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all pist off. That's right. Oh, we can have. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Okay. Leave it be. Why am I picking up green ooze? What? No, 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 no. Don't sniff it. it smells like kerosene. Kerosene? Green is. I said leave it be. All right, love. All right. Who's this dude? Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Yeah, she did. Yeah. Well, what are you doing here? Get lost. You think he's a detective? I do. <laughs> are you on the job? On the job. You on the job. Mean, on the job. You know, you an know. assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. I suggest you get the hell out of here now, ma'am, before things get ugly. He's definitely Was a that a threat? 
Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. Well, there we go. So, my spinky pinkies. We have been going through quite a journey, trying to find out what to do. We're trying to find Cortez at the moment. I imagine he's probably rather close. Well, we know he's at the cinema, in some, in, at the theater, theater um, according to Freddie Mellon. Um, we've got some green news, of which we will investigate. There's a fuse box, which we may need to get him out of the way for. And yeah, that's that so far. It's quite interesting. I know this is leading up to something. We're probably going to be coming to the, towards a climax for the chapter. And that will be in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And in the next one, we are going to find Cortez. We're going to work out a little bit more about what's going on between this melding of the world. Why are lots of people experiencing this? Um, what is happening, damn it? I want to know. And um, yeah, that's it. I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this a lot. I'm coming back to this after a decade, and it's an incredible, uh, like, jog to my memory. Because at the time I was at school, and, like, I remember struggling so much because it was just so confusing. And I'm still struggling. Um, so that's interesting. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to find Cortez again, and because he, he says he's going to tell me everything. All right? Cool. Until our next journey, see you then. Bye-bye.